Welcome back to Make It Happen Mondays, where we talk about how to make your content happen. And today we're talking again about Final Cut Pro and just some ways you can get the most out of it as a beginner. Now today I wanna to show you how you can arrange your workspace in Final Cut Pro. And if you've come from other editing suites, especially Premiere Pro, it can be quite confusing and quite different in Final Cut, but let's jump onto the computer and I'll talk you through it. All right, so once you're in Final Cut, just make sure you're in the default view by hitting Command Zero or going up to Window, Workspaces, and then making sure Default is selected. Now again, if you've used Premiere Pro before, then you know that you can typically just drag and drop these windows around the place. But as you can see, you actually can't do that within Final Cut. They're all locked in position. So when it comes to customizing your layout it essentially comes down to three buttons plus a few extra little things and those three buttons are up here in the top right hand corner and what each of these buttons does is essentially just hide or display the different panels within your workspace so this one will hide and open the browser window this button opens and closes the timeline and then lastly this one opens and closes the inspector window now this becomes handy depending on what you're doing within Final Cut so often when I'm doing a full edit I'll have have all of my windows open or if I'm just watching the video through and taking notes I might just have my preview and the timeline open just like that it really depends on what you're doing now once you've got your setup chosen you can actually resize these windows and it's just a matter of dragging them to become whatever size you need them to be so you can make them bigger you can make them smaller each one has the ability to be able to do this and then if you've set it up in a way that you like you can actually save it as a workspace so just go back up to window workspaces save workspace as just give it a name so I might just call this YouTube hit save and then if you go back to your window workspaces it'll be here at the top under YouTube we go back to default that resets it and if I go back to workspaces and then hit YouTube it's going to reset to my saved workspace now from here you have a few more options first of all there's some pre-built or preset workspaces that Final Cut has for you so again it's just under workspaces first there's organize this is just going to make your browser really big and hide the timeline and there's also color and effects and this is really handy if you're doing color grading and wanting to add effects to your video because it opens up your scopes panel which comes in really handy and then there is a workspace called dual displays and this is super handy if you have a second monitor like I do you can also access this mode really quickly and easily with this button here which will automatically appear if you connect a second display to your computer and you can choose what goes to your second display so you can choose the browser the viewer or the timeline personally I really like having the viewer in my second display so I've got a larger preview as I'm editing and then I've got more space in my main Final Cut window for my tools and all of my media and my timeline but again you can customize this to whatever suits you the best now lastly there's two other things I want to mention because I personally really like these first if you go up to window and then show in workspace you can select audio meters and they will appear just here in your timeline same thing you can resize these to be larger but this will give you audio meters so as you play back through your timeline you'll be able to see the level of your audio which is incredibly handy I've got this saved as a preset so it's always there for me and I definitely recommend adding that and then if you quickly want to use scopes without having to open that color workspace you can just hit command 7 just like that and it will open scopes and close scopes within your preview window and you can just resize this so it's more comfortable to see and if you forget the shortcut you can just go up to view show in viewer and then it's right here video scopes so I can just turn that off and that is how you can customize your workspace in Final Cut Pro so overall as you can see it's actually a lot less customizable when compared to Premiere Pro but I actually see that as a really good thing because it gets less confusing and less cluttered if you'd like to know more Final Cut keyboard shortcuts I've actually created a keyboard shortcut cheat sheet just for Final Cut which you can get for free using the link in the description so check that out and if you're looking for more short tutorials for beginner content creators then check out the make it happen Mondays playlist right here